Now, one thing you got to remember when you're dealing with a weedless frog is there's a couple of different types. One will have a pointed nose and others will have either a popping nose or like this, the new OSP diving frog has a scallop nose. Now the difference with this bait compared to let's say a spro or a snag proof is that with this bait, I would use this more in an open water situation. What's going to happen is you can throw this bait out and it'll actually act like a crankbait and it'll wobble through the water as you reel it in. Now the difference between using a slop frog and a frog like the diving frog is your rod position. It's all about your rod position. When you throw a slop frog, you're firing out into the water and you're actually reeling in an upward position with the rod from the 10 to 11 o'clock position. And that's helping you keep your bait from snagging up in the weeds. When you throw a frog like this, you treat it more like a crankbait. So you're gonna change gears a bit with a frog like this. And you're gonna go to a little bit of a softer tip, but you still want that heavy action. So you could throw this through pads and rice, but when you have those open water sections, you can lower your rod tip and crank, and it'll actually walk just under the surface. Now let's take a look at what's new from iCast in Orlando, Florida.